Hello and welcome to BEA's new website. In these videos, I will be showing you the ins and outs of our new website and walking you through the pages. In this video, I will be going through the All Products page and the Individual Product and Accessory pages. To browse BEA's product portfolio, choose Products from the main menu. This will take you to the All Products page. Here the user can see individual products. The order of these products is fully customizable by BEA, so we can feature or rotate in different products whenever we choose. The Products page loads 10 products at a time to cut down on page load time. The user can choose to load more products using the Load More button. This will reveal an additional 10 products. The user can continue to press this button until all the products appear and the Load More button no longer displays. To categorize BEA's product portfolio, we have incorporated a product filter. You can filter products by clicking the Filter By dropdown at the top of the page. This will activate the filter menu. As you can see here, the menu is organized by segment and application. The user can only filter by one application at a time. We have chosen this functionality so a user will never end up with no product results. Once an application filter is chosen, that application's product line will display. As you can see, they are automatically filtered by product type. Once a filter is chosen, there is no load more option available. All products for the chosen application will display. At any time, the user may choose to reset the filter using the Reset button or choose another application from the filter menu. At any time, the user may select the See Accessories button. This will display the product accessories associated with a filtered or unfiltered view. If the See Accessories checkbox is chosen when no filter is applied, all accessories will show. If the See Accessories checkbox is chosen with an application filter applied, only the accessories associated with the filtered products will be shown. Accessories are also displayed on an individual product page. Let's take a look at a product page. At the top of the page, in the header area, the product title, subtitle, and image is displayed. At any time, the user can navigate back to the All Products page by clicking the Back to All Products link. Under the header, the product description is shown. To the right of the description, we have a few calls to action. The user can choose to download the product cut sheet, watch a product video, or contact BEA. Under the description section is the features section. These are selling points and benefits to a product. Under the features, we display a grouping of expandable and collapsible menus that house more extensive product information. The user can choose to view the products, table of specifications, where technical information is displayed, the product versions, where varying configurations of the product is housed, the product accessories, where we display all of the accessories associated with the product. The user can view the accessory page by selecting See the Product. We will get to an accessory page in a moment. The Video tab houses any marketing or installation videos associated with the product. And the Downloads tab, which contains any downloads assigned to a product. User guides, cut sheets, architectural specifications, and application notes can be downloaded here. Under that section are the related products and related applications. Let's take a look at the accessory page we mentioned before. An accessory page is set up like a product page and is generally more abbreviated than a product page. It has a header area with a title and an image, a description area, and some expandable and collapsible menus like the product page. On the Product Compatibility tab, the user can see the product associated with that accessory. If an accessory has any downloads, they will also display in an expandable menu. Now that we have gone over the products page, let's take a look at BEA's new Smart Search functionality. We now have the ability to assign keywords to products, accessories, applications, and other pages. If the user is searching for a product, they can begin typing in the name of that product and the Smart Search will offer a selection of products based on what you type. As you can see, I began typing PUSH and a drop-down menu has displayed with any product with PUSH in the title. This works the same way with Ixio, displaying the Ixio product line. The user can also search applications as you can see here when I typed in sliding. The user may also search for product part numbers, downloads, and other pages on the website. Keep in mind, only products, accessories, and applications use the Smart Search functionality. In the next video, I will be showing you the services and support pages, which house the Teams page, 
the training pages, and the downloads library.